Okay, well, I figured I'd do a uh, video update, just to let everybody know what I got done uh, for this weekend. Uh, the steering came in, rotary steering's in, so I got that guy set up, ready to go. Uh, got to ask at the boat place a couple more questions about, you know, just how to set that up, just so I don't screw it up. Uh, I'm still waiting for the wheel to come in as well, but again, I had to go to r with the rotary steering because I didn't have enough room back here for the rack. Uh, Still waiting on the wheel to come in. Uh, and once the wheel comes in, I guess then you know, is when I can set that up. Uh, let's see. Oh, because of the housing on here, this is a little bit bigger than what I anticipated. So the speedometer would fit over here, but it would be really tight. So what I'm going to do is actually put the speedometer over here in the center area. Uh, I got some more fiberglass work to do there and filling, but that's where the uh, speedometer will go. Then we got the gas gauge, uh, the amp meter gauge, and then over here, what I'm going to do, uh, since the Uni Charger has wires run already for the for a tack, I'm going to put a tack in here. So I have the tack, amp meter, gas gauge, speedo going across the dash. Uh, again, I got my horn and my light switch, my ignition, uh, engine overheat, engine on light. I got my speakers in on this side and speaker on that side and then I also got the radio in as well uh, have to reach for the volume but I got this radio because it has a hookup uh, a plug-in for the iPhone iPod so almost likely just be using my uh, iPhone anyway for the radio uh, other than that not a big deal that it's a little stretch away but it is still reachable it's got to lean a little bit uh, again, 12 volt hookup as well is in. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the for the dash of the boat. Uh, I did have a question on the radio, and I'll post some pictures on it too in my question in the pictures. But uh, the chart, again, you can't see it well in the video, but the chart uh, shows the yellow going to the battery, shows the ground going to the battery. So. Again, my battery is my block. Uh, I have the ground run to the block. Uh, but what it also shows in here is it shows a red wire coming off and then coming over. And uh, what my boat guy said was there should be a fuse in the middle there before you hook it up to the yellow. Now my question is, I already have a fuse for the red and a fuse for the yellow. Uh, and I have my red and yellow cables here. Uh, and my positive to run over to the block which I already have set up. Uh, what I have to figure out though is do I have to put a fuse on this red and then connect that to the yellow and again here's my fuse if I need to do that so do I need to hook that red to red and then hook that to the yellow and then that to the uh, positive or do I just hook the positive directly to the red and yellow or the positive just to the yellow uh, to go over to the block so again I'll post those pictures of the diagram and stuff as well but that's my question on that uh, speaker wiring and that was pretty simple to run attach those to the uh, wiring harness tidied up my wiring harness by putting in some uh, holders here just so that's tucked up nice and neat. Uh, going around here. Again, my wiring for my ignition is pretty straightforward. That was pretty much set up already. Uh, I had to run my uh, ignition over to my uh, uh, to the ignition on the back of the gas gauge, which is actually right here, and then. Uh, Again, my ground for my uh, gas gauge, and the only other thing that I have to run for the gas gauge is the sender wire, which will go to the gas tank itself. Uh, the amp meter, two wires that already were supplied, green to brown for for that uh, from the uni charger, and I just had to run a ground to the block. Uh, what else do I have here? I got the engine overheat, got the engine uh, uh, on light, and again, here's my tachometer lead and tachometer uh, ground so 
or ground and lead actually uh, my my horn my light switch again that wiring is all done uh, one thing that did turn out well was putting in these fiberglass strips uh, along the way here so I could run my wiring all in through that and not have to put any screws to the side of the boat anymore so that runs straight back nicely uh, my positive off my uni charger and uh, ground off the uni charger have that stuff run as well uh, I already have the the ground run the positive I just have to uh, get another female in for that before I hook that up thought I had enough but apparently I was one short so that's pretty much all I have to do for the block yet uh, I got all 15 amp hook up for everything except uh, the 7.5 for the for the radio and I have one open space left for uh, fish finder when I do that uh, that's pretty much it again everything's in right now but everything's gonna have to come back out well first I'll mark everything uh, make a sketch and stuff so I know what's what if I ever have to do anything to the boat in the future uh, once I have everything all done, taped up, marked, then I'll again take everything back out and uh, start my filling process, sanding process before I paint. So that's where I'm at. Uh, if you can help me out again with that question on the radio, if not, no big deal. I'll just call the company I got the radio from and uh, have them explain it to me. Alright, well, I think that's pretty much it. Hope everybody's hope everybody's weekend is uh, going well. Hope your boat projects are going well. And, uh, again, thanks for looking. One more look at the dash. Kind of getting excited to uh, be towards the end here. Alright, thanks again.